What up, YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about books, life, no, books, life, and experiences, and how all those intertwine with each other. But first, like me, like I've been looking at other people's videos. People be having to get dressed up and stuff. I know a lot of people like this fool wear the same shirts all the time. They wash, ain't they? So they clean, but it's like people. I don't know. Some stuff you just be having the same people because I can feel people energy. It's like. You don't even want to know. I got so much designer stuff, it'll blow your mind. But I don't care about none of that crap. Because I ain't here to impress nobody. You know why? Because I can impress myself. Can you impress yourself? I think not. Like, before I start, I just want to ask, like, just ask people. Like, I remember at one point in time in my life, this is going to intertwine what I'm finna tell you today. But I know one point in time in my life where, like, like I told you, like, my freshman, sophomore year, like, beginning of junior no, it was not working out, and it's like, this when I started actually listening to hip-hop again, or rap, because it ain't hip-hop, because hip-hop means higher, infinite power, killing our people, that crap today is not hip-hop, so it's like, I started listening to rap again, I'm like, okay, so this is the only um, fact, I used to listen to heavy metal and rock a lot, real talk, and then, I'm like, okay, so this is new style and stuff, blah, 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 so I started rocking polo and stuff, so I started getting so much attention, it's like, I ain't know what to do with that picture. So I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get so much polo. Oh my god, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and just think about it, because I know somebody out there going through the same thing I went through, right? So it's like, I want to tell y'all, just think, just sit back and think. See, people can't sit back and think. That's the whole point. A lot of people, that's why people gotta smoke so much weed nowadays, because they can't sit back and think. If they think, they gonna know. They don't say they're gonna think about what they didn't did. But at the same time, it's the past, you can't change it. You got free will. Ain't nobody tell you to pick up that gun and go do that. Ain't nobody going to tell you to go to the mall and just spend all your money on stuff you don't need. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. So it's like, just sit back and think, like, why do I always got to go to the store and buy this stuff that I don't need? Do you want to do that? Or some program you can tell you to go do that? Just think about that. Now, books. You know how you got books? Me, I don't read books. People are like, you done read a book once in your life before. Duh, of course, but I don't read books now. Like, only books I read is dictionaries, but you got to watch what dictionary you get because a lot of dictionaries out here is fake. And I can't read. There's a lot of people out here that cannot read. Trust me. I know some people that can't read. It's sad, but hey, that's life for you, I guess. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I read things that I need to read, but you got to understand your DNA. Your DNA is a book because you get all your information from your past life. Every time you eat some fruit, that gets downloaded into your DNA, giving you information. Don't books give you information? That's making your DNA a book. That's making you the book of life. You get what I'm saying? We just like the trees. Our hair is considered the leaves, just like a plant. When the light hits the leaves, the leaves without a solar panel to suck in the light to make it grow. You get what I'm saying? To give it information so it can grow. So we get light from the sun through our hair give us light codes to give us information so we can grow. You get what I'm saying? So we can treat life. We are walking book. And you got to understand that experiences are chapters. And what I mean by that is, it's like, so let's say you experience something bad, right? See, I don't really like going to bad. But it could be anything. Let's say you experience something good. Let's say you experience something bad because everybody experiences things differently. Everybody grew up in different situations. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay. Let's say you went through a let's say you went through a point of time at your life. We're gonna make it chapter one, where you went to preschool, blah blah blah, blah and every time you went to preschool, you was acing everything, and you could say kids always bother you because you was doing better than them. That's chapter one. So in that book or that experience, the chapter would be, oh yeah, I did this, so I already know. So the next chapter, that's not gonna happen because I didn't been through that. You get what I'm saying? Just like a book, like certain books you read. Some people write about their life, right? So in a certain chapter, they write how this happened, they write how that happened. Experiences are chapters. Because once you experience that, time to move on to the next chapter. That's done with it. You get what I'm saying? That chapter gone. It's time to move on to the next chapter. So chapter two. Like, let's say, for example, like, I'm going to tell you, high school, my life is shit. Real talk. Vibrations are low. Let's see a little vibration of music. Your thinking, like, your thinking is like this, right? You have to really understand this. It's like, every second, every minute, every millisecond, Whatever you think thinking, you create your reality. So I'm always thinking about success, and I'm always thinking about my art going viral and my YouTube videos is taking off, and it happens because I'm manifesting that. 
It's your thoughts. You gotta really understand thoughts are eleven things. Really, your consciousness is eleven things. Check this out. Go do this. Go try this. Like you can try this now, but go try. Let's say you just waking up, right? At a nap in the morning, don't matter. Say you just waking up. Go to the bathroom. Look in the mirror. Close the door, right? Before you turn the light on, put your finger on the light switch. Flick it on and off real quick. You're going to see this blue aura around your body. That's your consciousness. Let you know your consciousness is a living thing. I do it all the time. That lets you know how much energy you get in your body, too. You just flick it on and off real quick. But look at the mirror while you're doing it. And you're going to see it. You're going to see also like a little blue aura around your body. Real talk. I'm telling you, this is some real talk. So it's like you have to go through things to experience them. And once you experience them, that chapter is over with. Feel me? And like I said, it's like your know, thoughts create your reality. It really do. So let's say you just focused on, like, let's just say, like, for example, like, you want to do like this, like, think that your dreams have already come into life. And what I mean by that is just already act like your dreams have come to reality. So say you want to be a fashion designer. Be like, oh, hell yeah, I got the best clothing out here. And boom, you will have the best clothing out there. It might not be true, but it will manifest into reality. Like at one point in time when I was first coming to my spiritual journey, I say a lot of stuff that wasn't true. But I'm saying it because it's going to manifest to reality and boom, it has become true. So I just want you all to understand it's like that uh, experiences are chapters. So let's say you were shit in chapter two. All right, now from going to chapter three. Do you want to be shit in chapter three too? No, you don't. You want to keep creating new and new and new. You get what I'm saying? Memories are a thing of the past. Goals are a thing of the future, but you got to understand we are present beings. We live in the present. And as we speak, the present, no, the future is happening as we speak. That's real talk. See, people ain't getting that type of stuff. You don't always want to focus on the future because the future hasn't come yet, but the future is happening now. Only the ones with their third eye is going to see what I'm saying. You feel me? So now it's time for words of the day. Where is my paper at? Hold on. Guess I just got to go off the top. Well, words of the day for today is stare into your eyes. And what I mean by that is look in the mirror and just stare into your eyes. I know some people with all the pain you didn't call somebody or the pain you got for yourself, just hard to look at yourself in the eye. Trust me, been there, done that, so I already know. But just look in your eyes. Stare into your eyes. Why are you always going to look in your eyes? Tell yourself that you are beautiful. Tell yourself that you are great. Tell yourself that, like, right, you could be like, you could be like, um, I'm not the finest man in the world, but I'm damn sure not the ugliest. I'm not the richest man in the world, but I'm damn sure not the um, poorest. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Examples. Or for women, too. Women, too. Queens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not the brokest female in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Examples. But stand to your eyes. Gaze into your own eyes. Because when you look into your eyes, you look into your Akashic Records. That's real talk. Love yourself. Be yourself. And don't ever let nobody tell you you can do something. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something. Because we are all co-creators. Because we coexist within each other, people.